The Carmenair grape is a wine grape variety originally planted in the Medoc region of Bordeaux, France, where it was used to produce deep red wines and occasionally used for blending purposes in the same manner as Petit Verdot. A member of the Cabernet family of grapes, the name Carmenair originates from the French word for crimson carmen, which refers to the brilliant crimson color of the autumn foliage prior to leaf fall. The grape is also known as Grande Vidor, a historic Bordeaux synonym, although current European Union regulations prohibit imports under this name into the European Union. Along with Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Merlot, Malbec and Petit Verdot, Carmenair is considered part of the original six red grapes of Bordeaux, now rarely found in France. The world's largest area planted with this variety is in Chile, with more than 8,800 hectares 2009 cultivated in the Central Valley. As such, Chile produces the vast majority of Carmenair wines available today and as the Chilean wine industry grows, more experimentation is being carried out on Carmenair's potential as a blend grape, especially with Cabernet Sauvignon. Carmenere is also grown in Italy's eastern Veneto and Friuli Venezia Giulia regions and in smaller quantities in California, Walla Walla, and Rockingham County, North Carolina in the United States. History One of the most ancient European varieties, Carmenere is thought to be the antecedent of other better known varieties. Some consider the grape to be a long established clone of Cabernet Sauvignon. It is possible that the variety name is an alias for what is actually the Vidor, a local Bordeaux name for a Cabernet Sauvignon clone once thought to be the grape from which all red Bordeaux varieties originated. There have also been suggestions that Carmenere may be Baterica, a vine praised in ancient Rome and also the name by which the city of Bordeaux was known during that era. This ancient variety originated in Iberia modern-day Spain and Portugal, according to Pliny the Elder, indeed, it is currently a popular blending variety with Sangiovese in Tuscany called Predicato di Baterica. The Carmenere grape has known origins in the Medoc region of Bordeaux, France and was also widely planted in the graves until the vines were struck with oidium. It is almost impossible to find Carmenere wines in France today, as a phylloxera plague in 1867 nearly destroyed all the vineyards of Europe, afflicting the Carmenere grapevines in particular such that for many years the grape was presumed extinct. When the vineyards were replanted, growers could not replant Carmenere as it was extremely hard to find and more difficult to grow than other grape varieties common to Bordeaux. The region's damp, chilly spring weather gave rise to Coulor, a condition endemic to certain vines in climates which have marginal, sometimes cool, wet springs, which prevented the vine's buds from flowering. Yields were lower than other varieties and the crops were rarely healthy, consequently wine growers chose more versatile and less cool or susceptible grapes when replanting the vines and Carmenere planting was progressively abandoned. <inaudible> Rediscovery <inaudible> Chile Far from being extinct, in recent years the Carmenere grape has been discovered to be thriving in several areas outside France. In Chile, growers inadvertently preserved the grape variety during the last 150 years because it was mistaken for Merlot. Cuttings of Carmenere were imported by Chilean growers from Bordeaux during the 19th century, where they were frequently confused with Merlot vines. They modeled their wineries after those in France and in the 1850s cuttings from Bordeaux, which included Carmenere grape, were planted in the valleys around Santiago. Thanks to central Chile's minimal rainfall during the growing season and the protection of the country's natural boundaries, growers produced healthier crops of Carmenere, and there was no spread of phylloxera. During most of the 20th century Carmenere was inadvertently collected and processed together with Merlot grapes probably reaching up to 50% of the total volume giving Chilean Merlot markedly different properties from those of Merlot produced elsewhere. Chilean growers believed that this grape was a clone of Merlot and was known as Merlot Selection or Merlot Piamol after the Pumo Valley in Chile. In 1994, a researcher at Montpelier's School of Enology found that an earlier ripening vine was Bordeaux Carmenere, not Merlot. The Chilean Department of Agriculture officially recognized Carmenere as a distinct variety in 1998. Today, Carmenere grows chiefly in the Colchagua Valley, Rapal Valley, and Maipo Province. 
Topic: Italy. A similar situation occurred in Italy when, in 1990, the CA Del Bosco Winery acquired what they thought was Cabernet Franc vines from a French nursery. The growers noticed that the grapes were different from the traditional Cabernet Franc both in color and taste. They also noticed that the vines ripened earlier than Cabernet Franc would have. Other Italian wine regions also started to doubt the origin of these vines and it was finally established to be Carmenere. Although, in Italy, the variety is grown mainly in the northeast part of the country from Brescia to Friuli, it has only recently been entered into Italy's national catalogue of vine varieties and thus, no district has yet requested the authorization to use it. Therefore, the wine cannot be cultivated with its original name or specific vintage and the name cannot be used to identify the wine on the label with an IGT, DOC or a DOCG status assignment. C.A. Del Bosco Winery names the wine it produces Carmenero. In 2007 the grape was authorized to be used in Italian dock wines from Veneto, Arcoli, Bagnoli di Sopra, Cori Benedettine del Padovano, Garda, Merlara, Monte Lassini, Riviera del Brenta and Vicenza, Friuli Venezia Giulia Colio, or Colio Goraziano and Sardinia Alghero. Since a ministerial decree of 2009, producers of Piave dock wines in 50 communes of the province of Treviso, and 12 in the province of Venice have been permitted where appropriate to specify the variety Carmenere on the wine label. Other regions In modern day France only a few hundred acres of Carmenere officially exist, although there are rumours of renewed interest among growers in Bordeaux. Carmenere has also been established in eastern Washington's Walla Walla Valley and in California, United States. In the 1980s, Karen Moulander Magoon, the co-proprietor of Gwenock and Langtree Estates Winery, in California's Lake County, brought the grape to the vineyard. This was a joint effort with Louis Pierre Pratier a French research scientist and viticulturalist whose work involved preserving Carmenere from extinction in France." Once the vines were quarantined and checked for diseases they were legalized for admission into California in the 1990s, where they were cloned and planted. In Australia, three cuttings of Carmenere were imported from Chile by renowned viticultural expert Dr. Richard Smart in the late 1990s. After two years in quarantine, only one cutting survived the heat treatment to eliminate viruses and was micro-propagated segments of individual buds grown on nutrient gel and field grown by Narromine Vine Nursery. The first vines from the nursery were planted in 2002 by Amietta Vineyard and Winery in the Moribul Valley, Geelong, Victoria, who use Carmenere in their Angel Share blend. Carmenere has also been established in small amounts in New Zealand. DNA testing confirmed in 2006 that plantings of Cabernet Franc in the Matacana region were in fact Carmenere. Viticulture Carmenere favors a long growing season in moderate to warm climates. During harvest time and the winter period the vine fares poorly if it is introduced to high levels of rain or irrigation water. This is particularly true in poor soil plantings where the vine would need more water. Overwatering during this period accentuates the herbaceous and green pepper characteristics of the grape. The grape naturally develops high levels of sugar before the tannins achieve ripeness. If grown in too hot a climate the resulting wine will have a high alcohol level and low balance. Carmenere buds and flowers three to seven days later than Merlot and the yield is lower than that of the latter grape. The Carmenere leaves turn to crimson before dropping. Carmenere is produced in wineries either as a single variety wine, sometimes called a varietal wine, or as a blend usually with Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc or Merlot. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Distinction from Merlot. Genetic research has shown that Carmenere may be distantly related to Merlot and the similarities in appearance have linked the two vines for centuries. Despite the similarities, there are some noticeable differences that aid the ampelographer in identifying the two vines. When young, Carmenere leaves have a reddish hue underneath, while the leaves of Merlot are white. There are also slight differences in leaf shape with the central lobe of Merlot leaves being longer. Merlot ripens two to three weeks earlier than Carmenere. 
In cases where the vineyards are interspersed with both varieties, the time of harvest is paramount in determining the character of the resulting blends. If Merlot grapes are picked when Carmenere is fully ripe, they will be overripe and impart a jammy character. If the grapes are picked earlier when only the Merlot grapes have reached ripeness, the Carmenere will have an aggressive green pepper flavor. Thus, although different, Merlot and Carmenere were often confused but never thought to be identical. Its distinctive differences meant the grape was called a Merlot selection or Merlot Piamol, which was a geographic reference to a valley south of Santiago where lots of Carmenere was grown before its true identity was established. Topic: Characteristics. Carmenere wine has a deep red color and aromas found in red fruits, spices and berries. The tannins are gentler and softer than those in Cabernet Sauvignon and it is a medium body wine. As a result many find it can be drunk easily with fish. Although mostly used as a blending grape, wineries do bottle a pure varietal Carmenere which, when produced from grapes at optimal ripeness, imparts a cherry-like, fruity flavor with smoky, spicy and earthy notes and a deep crimson color. Its taste might also be reminiscent of dark chocolate, tobacco, and leather. The wine is best to drink while it is young. 